welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. I am procrastinating. I'm also getting sick, obviously. First of all, Mo has gone back to school today. He was home for like nine days because he was like sick. Then he got an ear infection. Now I'm getting sick. Fine. Canel is coming in two days. I have so much to resin to get out of the way, um, which I should be doing. I have like commissions I need to be doing, whatever. But I'm kind of just feel like playing. Like I was a bit puttering around cleaning up paints. And I was like, oh, I want to do something really quick. So I don't know what it is yet, but what I have decided is, do you know that um, I haven't used TLP Storm yet, the new, um, it's kind of like a silvery gold. You can't see like the warm in this light. Um, so it's not, but there's a brownie tinge to it. And then I said to myself, why don't I finish off some of this is this hold your horses here this could be the wrong one i thought i was grabbing um i thought this was cappuccino but this could be the also new tlp bloodstone hold on because it has a, it's like a ready i think it's bloodstone i don't want to use this it's pretty but it's too red for what i'm envisioning it's really pretty actually i've already used it though i thought i had a cappuccino which i'm sure I have somewhere, but don't worry. We're, we're just gonna build our palette. Like I said, I have nothing planned. I know that annoys at least one of you complain. Oh my God, the complaints I get, you guys. Uh, I'm, I was gonna put a big sign here that says, please don't complain about my hair or the way I speak because neither are the things that I can help. <laughs> but please like feel free to uh, like, you know, critique my art and stuff. But like, oh my God, I'm not gonna stop talking like this cause this is like how I've talked since I was like a kid. I'm just joking, I'm not gonna be that obnoxious. But it is a thing, Canadian people and Australian people, by the way, have this up speak thing. Um, I think this is my cappuccino. Uh, so it's just the thing, you know what I mean? So I always encourage the mute button. <laughs> okay, I really like, okay, so it's got like the same vibe, Storm and Cap Cappuccino. So I'm thinking to myself, I have this new pillow um, called Wishful Blue, Sherwin-Williams, and um, let me show you. What I've done is because I find those light mixes uh, a little thick, I do mix it with a bit of US Floetrol. I know you can't see it. You know what? Let me do this. The inside of the thing so I can... Mm, it's, it's... There's like just a tinge of blue to it. So, so far, why don't I put you down and then we'll just build the palette with whatever I have. It's just going to be a quick thing. And then... I just got paint on me. Um, and then you're gonna say, what are you doing? I don't know, I'm feeling kind of like uninspired with blooms lately, just like bloom. So I have like the idea for other paints, but for my bloom paints, like what are we gonna do? Maybe I'll do thing on like minimal minimal swipes. I don't even have cell activator big stuff. I'm so not prepared. All right, let's go down and see what we're gonna do. Okay, so you can see better now. Here's the Wishful Blue. Okay, so let's like build the palette. So we have Wishful Blue, Storm, Cappuccino. Like what way are we going? I wanna keep it, like these are actually pretty warm tones. So let's keep it warm. You know what I mean? Like this is more of like, one of my favorite um, like Australian sky blue from Matisse. It kind of has like a light purple tinge to it. Now, no, so I was just, this is Agapanthus, which is a, my cool, my favorite, one of my favorite cool purples, but we're not gonna go there. Well, we definitely need tubies. So maybe let's throw in a little purple. I definitely have some purple tubies mixed up. Um, let's see, that's too warm for me for this. Do you see what I mean? I hope you guys, yeah, you guys can see. Uh, not my vibe. I'm going to keep it here just so you can see how I like eliminate things. Um, 
that's the thing, you know, I always have a problem finding cool purples. Now, the actually, if I had the Australian sky blue mixed up, that would be great. What is this? I don't know what this is. This is very too warm though. Look at this, it's almost red. Obviously that's a no, I don't even know what it is. Um, but again, because I don't wanna mix up new paints, we're just gonna use what I have. Don't be bored. This just looks like Titan Buff, which is always good. We're gonna use that. Let me remove this now so we're not confused. Um, this could be Amsterdam Titan Buff, or it could be um, Old Holland Titan Buff, either one, okay? Okay, getting the vibe. We need some interest though, don't we? We can't, or are we just going like grays and browns? Is that crazy? Like with no color or anything? That can't be. Um, what is this? Here's, oh, oh, it is gray. Hold on, let's see. This to me looks like Triart um, Graphite Gray, which I also love. All right. I mean, it's definitely a vibe. It's definitely a neutral vibe. All right. So do I just keep it that way with no purple? Like, obviously, we're not throwing. Ooh. Don't say obviously, Lisa. All right, let's see what this purple is. Because it is a cool purple. And it might have excited me a little bit. All right. Um, hmm. So right now we have three tubies, two piggies. You know I would love an interference. And I just so happen to have ball gown. I think this is ball gown mixed up, the gold interference. Let's see. Um, is that what I just do? Um, hmm, just like one purple? What do you think? Hmm, I'm not hating it. It is, let me see. Yeah, like, I don't have any purple tubes mixed up, so maybe we'll just give that a go. So I need to actually make a cell activator while we're here. I think we're going to go with this. Let me move things out of the way. And then I'll like get to resonating, you know what I mean? Okay, so let's how am I gonna layer it? Well, first let's remove this. So I'm gonna be using should I use a white cell activator? Um <clears throat> if I were using a white cell activator, I would top it off with the purple. If I were using a Payne's gray dark cell activator, I would be topping it off with that. I'm just i I'm nervous about this one being so intense. Um, what if I make purple cell activator? What do you guys think? You know what I mean? I'm not so against this purple anymore. <laughs> oh, and you're gonna ask me, it's, like, it's a little much? Like what if I knock it down with a bit of white? You're gonna ask me what that purple is. And uh, to be honest, I probably made it with like dark purple and white, but I wanna knock the warmth out. So I'm gonna take some of it, okay? And I'm gonna go get my zinc white, okay? And um, let's, oh, what is this? Ah. Okay, this is try it warm white. Now I was gonna use zinc white because it's opaque, uh, transparent, but this is here and it's opaque. So we're just gonna just remember that. It's okay to use opaques. We just gotta be aware where they are. Oops, hold on. I don't think I've used this before. I love these try art liquids. You can get them at Food Art Company. Okay, I just want a little bit. Okay. Let's see. That helps me a little bit. Oh, it's a very, <laughs> maybe I did, I'm gonna add a little bit more. It's not a bad color though. It's just very similar to that. I don't see enough purple. Mmm, I'm gonna start playing around. Okay, let me put a bit of this in here. The reason is this is 
the more of the bluish purple that I'm looking for. This is the kind of stuff I love doing. Okay. I'm gonna add a touch more white. I think that's probably how I made this one. Look at how similar they are. <laughs> okay, don't go crazy with the white, Lisa. Just like this. Okay. If you guys have watched my videos, you've probably seen me mix this, whatever this is, and you can tell me what it is because I don't remember. Okay. This is better to me, okay? Um, like, I'm still nervous about this, but we can still do it. No, oh, we were talking about layering, and I got sidetracked here. Okay, so if I'm using this blue pillow, for instance, okay, um, we will start, why don't we start with Storm, okay? We will start with Storm. Then we will go derpa derpa derpa. Mm. We will go whatever this is, okay? And then on top we will go this um, ball gown. Then we will go tri art graphite gray. Then we will go TLP cappuccino. Perfect. So I don't need both of these. I'm going to eliminate that. Top with that. I could go white or dark cell activator, um, but like with the blue, like I guess I'm hoping to have negative space, right? So I want to see that blue. Uh, <clears throat> should I make a purple cell activator? Hmm. Why don't I do both? I'll because I, I need a white anyways. So let me get. You know what I'm gonna use? I'm gonna use permanent blue violet. Hold on. Let's go get that. I'm gonna make. Permanent blue violet, and I'm gonna make this. I'm very sad. This is like my favorite bottle of floor ever made, and it's almost done. You know what? I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna open a new one. Let's see. So I'm shaking it up. I'm opening, oh. I'm opening her up. Why? Child lock, baby. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's see how this is going. New bottle, pour it out. Oh, see that? Water. Yuck, no. So, that's a very, do you see how it's built out like skim milk? That's not what you want. So that bottle, you can, you can mess around with it, but we don't want to do that for today. Okay, now this one hopefully sounds a little better. I don't know, actually, this sounds pretty liquid too. So I haven't opened these bottles to test them. Let's see. So I, the reason this happens, I think, is in transport. If they get too hot, this one's like pink. Okay, let's try this one. Don't, I'm gonna clean this all up, but. Okay, it's better but still thin, okay? But it, it's a lot, it's a lot, see how it's a little thicker than this? This is like skim milk. This is like whole milk. It's, it's actually a little pink too, but which is weird. Um, okay, so. <clears throat> how yucky, right? Should I try one more? It's fine, but I think I'm just, spoiled with okay let's try one more so this is doable okay the first one not doable see it still sounds a bit watery but let's see right don't judge a book by its cover let's see oh yep it's pretty watery i'm gonna use it anyways i think it's a little better than, than the pink one. Mm. I think I need to update my flow trials. I bought bulk many years ago, so they've been sitting around. This one's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna dump the pink one. Okay. So you gotta, so a good one has like a really thick trace. 
So either um, you can let them sit out overnight. That might help a little bit to thicken up. Um, you can put a lot more tube paint in them to thicken them. So there's things that you can do. So I like a bit of a trace, especially if these are going to give me problems, then I'm going to put a lot more tubes in here. Mixy mix. So you got to mix for like a good minute. Uh, I am going to put a bit more anyways. So I'm not going to put, you know what, maybe I won't put too much of the pouring medium purple because it's the same purple, right? So just put a little bit. Okay, so we're starting to look fine. We have a trace. Now when I mix up my saw activator, I like a five second drip. One, two, three. It drips a little bit four, so it means it could be a little thicker. One, two, three, yeah. You want a bit more? Sure. Why not thicken you up a bit, right? I'm so sad about my favorite bottle of Floatrol. And like I said, it will work, the Floatrol will work. You could also thicken it up with some gloss um, matte gel, not gloss gel, matte gel. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Nice. I have to make sure not to mix up my pore medium with my cell activator. All right. Let's see if this squeezes out. There we go. Bloop. So I'm going to save my good bottle for like maybe my big pieces that I need everything to work a little better, you know? Okay, once this is mixed up, <laughs> we're gonna get to blooming. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like a swipe, okay? A faux swipe, meaning I'm gonna swipe my colors down first without cell activator to make it look kind of like water, color grainy and then maybe a bit of cell activator on top we'll see okay this was supposed to be a quick video by the way but <laughs> i'm really procrastinating but no this is good lessons for you guys to know okay because this is really too thin this is really like what happens when i paint you know what i mean so oopsie sometimes Okay, we'll just make it super thick, I guess. Like, this is like real life. You got to work with what you got. I might have made this way too thick. Mixy mix. Anyways, what else can I tell you? Yeah, so Canel is coming in a few days. And we are doing the biggest Dutch pour ever. I don't know, ever in the world. I'm sure someone's done one. But we got a 36 by 48, and I'm gonna do it. I'm so excited, and I'm going to have I'm gonna have her spin a two footer and get paint all over herself, and it's gonna be hilarious. I'm just getting some yuckies out. Okay, this is let's see what I did here. Oh, hold on, there's yuckies. All right, one, two, three, four, five. It's like a slightly too thick. I'm gonna thin it down for like. A little bit, but I don't mind if this is a little thicker because, like I said, the actual flow trial is pretty thin. Okay. Are you ready? I think for the first one, I'm not going to use the purple cell activator because I want to use. The dark purple on top. Okay. Oh, do I like this color? No. Let me get a good color for you guys. All right. Are you finally ready to get to work? Let's do it. 
Um, I'm gonna lay down some blue pillow, okay? We're just doing like a little, this is just a mm, 10 incher actually. Okay. I'm gonna stretch it out a bit. Of course there's a yucky. Okay. I do enjoy this color quite a bit. Now, I do see some things that want to be removed. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a little more. Mm. No, maybe I won't even put a little more. Like, yeah, this is enough. Now, you're going to say to yourself, what are you doing? Okay, this is what I'm doing. I am starting with TLP Storm. Okay. And I'm going to make it quite thick because I want to reach the bottom-ish. Okay. Now. After that, why not just do a bit of, I don't really need it, but I'll just do a bit of, this is called ball gown on top, okay? Great. Now, try art graphite gray. More. Okay. I'm not sure if my vision is going to work, and that's okay. Like, we're just playing. TLP Cappuccino. Okay. Now. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to put a bit of this up here. The custom purple we made. Okay. Then I'm gonna put the permanent blue violet pouring medium, a little bit like, down here. Okay. So now I have my little palette knife, okay? And I'm gonna make lines and I'm gonna, <coughs> I'm sorry, <coughs> I'm gonna start. I'm gonna bring the dark purple down this way and then the lighter colors up this way, okay? This might take a minute. Bear with me. Now, the problem is, like, you will start to see flocculation and stuff, so just be aware of that, okay? Now, I'm not gonna bring, if, I'm gonna have different lines for each one, okay? That's one of the problems. Actually, I should probably do this with light colors. So both the brown and the storm, because they're a darker color, when you pull them across a light, they do tend to flocculate a bit more. So I'm trying not to pull out too much. I don't know if, even if this is gonna be nice. Okay, but anyways, let's go this way. So this is like gonna be the background, okay? Then I'm going to do swipes on top. Okay. I know you're concerned, but don't be concerned yet. I'm the only one who's allowed to be concerned. Okay. Okay. So we have this, whatever this is. Again, we're not sure. You know what? I don't mind the colors fix this booboy here. Okay, so now I'm going to take my knife, my clean knife, and now I'm going to put the cell activator. Okay. Oops. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm 
I want it like layers, you know? I don't know. You can see it is quite thick because it's making cute cells though. Okay, the thicker, the bigger the cells because it sits longer. Oopsie, that was too intense, Lisa, relax. See how I was cutting it up and the paint was coming over the knife? We don't want that. I dug into it too strong. So you gotta be careful with your knife. Um, you want to be like, you wanna push the paint away. Okay. Again, I'm not sure yet, but <laughs> we'll see. Mm, I actually don't mind. I don't mind not having cells on that side, okay? I don't know. We don't need cells all the time, right? All right. I'm just picking up my little skewer here. And now we're gonna like stretch it out, I guess. So what do I like? I actually really am enjoying the swipe part without the, um, without the cells. Like I enjoy what's happening here. Let's see. Yeah. Like, should I just, yeah, it's like a really cute little abstract. Before I do anything, let me move my paints out of the way so they don't get hurt, okay? So what I'm seeing is I'm seeing like an abstract kind of landscape, okay? Could just be me, I don't know. But why not, you know, work with it a little bit? Like obviously this part we don't really need. So let's dump it off, you know? really slowly because I don't want to hurt anything I've done. But, you know, when I get bored of doing the bloom over and over again, I like doing these things that kind of take it outside of the box a little bit. And they're not, all, they're not always gonna be winners, right? Um, I want to keep a lot of this stuff. So, but it like kind of just like gives you new ideas. It can inspire you. I'm tilting this very slow. Um, it's sometimes important to do that. To get your head out of, you know. Okay, we're tilting, we're tilting. <laughs> very, very slow. I'm going to get rid of a lot of these cells. We're going really slow. And this is also where you get to like play with um, composition, you know, things like that. Okay, I'm gonna get this corner off. Okay. Right. Yeah, now we're gonna go down. We're gonna go back to the middle and then go down to this corner. I like what's happening. I love, it's funny, I find in pieces, I love more, I think, where there's no cell activator and the paint is just kind of like mixed by itself. You know what I mean? We'll see. Just slowly waiting for this corner to go. Slowly, slowly. Then we'll see what we got. Let's Come on, get moving, you know? <laughs> we don't have all day here. Okay, almost, almost, good. Okay, now I do like these colors and I think we should do a bloom with them after. We're gonna get the paint back down this way. And I'm gonna move this line a little diagonally, which I think is cool. Also, I'm gonna be doing a coasters video uh, probably next week because I've decided, yeah, 
yeah i've decided uh maybe for the holidays i'm gonna do like a limited edition coaster i already have um a couple of commissions for them because you know i i think coasters are so cute but such a pain so i never do that so i'm gonna do a limited edition of that so i'll show you my coasters from start to finish okay we're almost there yep good okay so let's look at what we got here now you might be saying to yourself what is this okay <laughs> which i totally get but there's something about it and again it's like just a landscape to get out of your mind to work with sh shapes now you can't see the pretty colors in the light um let me get this side down a bit just to kind of like get your rhythm back a little bit i kind of like what's happening to be honest so now i'm going to spin it a few times okay now and i'm going to bring you to light and then i'm going to just do like a regular old bloom with these colors i really this was more just like a little appetizer warm-up um Got a little bit like paint on. Just to kind of, you know, bring ourselves outside the box a little bit. So I'm just like tilting, tilting. Okay. Tilting, tilting. And I think it will dry nicely with that kind of blue background. Tilting, tilting. So I'm getting like a different um, shapes of, of that line. All right, I really, I'm really enjoying my landscape. Okay, um, let me bring you to a close up, okay? Then we're just gonna do like a fun little bloom and then I'm actually gonna do the things I need to do. Be right back. Okay. I've decided I'm gonna make it sister and make a really cool abstract piece. So again, it's gonna be hard to control, but the line of the first one kind of went up like this. So it'd be cool to really continue it up or to bring it back down. We'll see what the bloom gods wanna do. But for me, it's funny because, you know, I can do portraits, etc. cetera. Um, but it's really hard. Sorry, I'm trying to get this little piece. For me to do abstract. So, um, this is kind of fun. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. Let's see if I have enough. I think so. I'll go a little quicker with this one, but I'm really enjoying the palette. I still do want to do a bloom with it because it will d definitely look different. But, you know, now what did I do? All right, I started with Storm. I should, mm, so normally I would put more color, but I, I want it to look similar, but whatever. Okay, Storm. And then we have, this will have more color on it. Um, you know, ball gown. Okay. Try art. Graphic gray. Okay. <clears throat> TLP cappuccino. Okay. We will have some of the light purple up here. Okay. And permanent blue violet down here. Okay, now let's do the same Z's. Take my knife. I'm going to keep the darks down there and the lights up there. Okay. Swiping does take longer than anything. 
that's okay. And I remember I didn't really love what I did here last time. So why don't I just not do that and just swipe with style activator? What I did like was the plain swiping on top, right? So let's do that. And it's gonna have more sparkle on the top because I put more ball gown. Let's bring some of the ball gown up, All right? So you're not gonna see it now, but I see it. It's very cool. I'm only gonna take a bit of the purple and more ball gown, okay? Because I want that ball gown to show. There we go. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna swipe with my cell activator down this way. Okay, so there we go. Brush it. Why don't I take some of this purple down? There we go. Okay, go dark. Cool. That's why I find like fluid art so fun because <clears throat> it really, if you have a hard time with certain aspects, it can really help you get out of your head because you can't really control <laughs> what's going to happen and for a control freak. That's hard, right? Okay. Last swipey. Mm. Okay, so remember my line before was pretty low. Let's see what we're gonna do with this line here. What don't I like? Well, obviously like we wanna take this stuff off, right? So we can start with that. Really slowly. It does make cute cells. So we're gonna go off this way. And we can definitely go a little bit to the corner. Be patient, right? Okay. I don't wanna take too much off just yet. Um, but I don't like, I'm not going to go back this way. <clears throat> I'm going to go down a little bit. So I'm going to get this corner and this down part a little bit, you know. Fun with compositions. Okay, now we, okay, it's definitely more detailed than my last one, right? Because I did put more paint down. So now we're going to, I'm not even going to push it so much back up because I do want to keep this negative space up here. I do see a yucky, hold on. Um, and I do want this edge to come off. So why don't we just spin now? and see what shape we get. Get this out of the way. And I find that these abstract pieces actually look better um, on a bigger spot. I think I'm gonna bring this down actually before I start spinning. <clears throat> um, you know, if you do something this crazy on a bigger piece, it always looks better. Yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna take this off because I like what's happening here. Okay, yep. Better. Okay, now are we gonna, I am gonna help it a little bit on this corner, come off here, because I don't want it to fight too much. So I'm just going to put a bit more paint right here so it can spin off nicely. And then maybe a little bit here. Okay, let's see. And then we'll do a side-by-side -side and see if I actually did a good job or not, right? Okay. 
can help bring it more up this way. Okay. I'm gonna help this corner out a bit. Thank you for your patience. And then I'll get to a bloom if you guys are like, what is she doing? You know what I mean? <laughs> stick around. I'll do a regular bloom for you. Okay, yes. We're doing well. In my opinion, anyways. Um, is this a bloop here? Bit of a bloop. Okay. Maybe we get the bloop off. Okay. I think... I'll give her one more spin and we're gonna do a side by side all right <clears throat> now let's get to a real bloom shall we tell me what you think though if uh you want to experiment a little bit right get out of your comfort zone do some fun stuff be right back 